baby, meat on the ground. It's not even sunrise, opening day of the firearm season here. Had this little deer come in, gonna fill the freezer. Well, that was a great hunt this morning. Opening day of the deer firearm season. I got on stand about a half hour before it started getting light. Right after first light, this little fella strolled in and I took my shot. Hit him a little back through the liver, but uh, when you pump a 12 gauge round through a deer's liver, uh, they don't get back up from that. And he went down, but it's getting pretty warm. And so I had to get down, get this deer dressed out. I was gonna hunt a little longer, but with temps in the 50s, it's time to get this deer on ice. Big part of the hunt is what happens after you take your game home. And I'd like you to join me back at the house for a little tutorial in how to dress your deer. Okay, so Dana's still standing out there trying to get her deer. Uh, I had to come in, it's 50 degrees, working on 60 today. So this deer needed to get processed. Um, I'm gonna focus on the shoulder area here for the purposes of this video. Now, a lot of guys will come in behind the shoulder here like this, but that's not a really efficient way to butcher a carcass. Take all this meat around here. And this little flap of meat up here and continue cutting down into the neck. Now, as you cut, let the weight of the leg pull itself away from the carcass and work your knife in behind that, cutting the membranes and tissue and any connective flesh as you go along. When you get up the neck here, just go ahead and let the leg fall free. Okay, a lot of guys will discard the shank but we're not going to do that. There's a lot of good meat, several pounds of burger meat here. Um, you're going to want to remove the hoof, however, at the lowermost joint. And we're going to do that by cutting the tendons on the back, scoring around the leg with your knife, and cutting down into the top of the kneecap. Once that is completely loose, you can just go ahead and invert it and snap it off. There may be one more tendon to cut or something, but now the shoulder's ready to get wrapped up in cellophane and cool down in the ice box. Turn your attention to the next one. Okay. Go ahead and repeat the process on the other shoulder. Of course, it's pretty warm out here, and I am going to quarter this whole carcass and get it on ice. But let's take a little closer look on how we will continue processing this shoulder. 